Hey YouTube, how's it going? So I made a video earlier where I told you how you can set up a testing server to test out your PHP code and your web uh, design code, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, all that jazz. And uh, you can use that to test out any website you're working on. Uh, you might want to check that out before you continue with these tutorials or at least have your own testing server set up and have a general grasp of, uh, of what you're doing. Um, before you do this because you're going to need a testing server in order to test this code out and actually see how it performs. Um, basically in these tutorials I'm going to go over uh, PHP in depth on a beginning PHP and then intermediate then advanced. I'll create several playlists for this. Uh, this one is obviously the basic, the most basic one. If you are already well versed in PHP I suggest you go somewhere else because I'm going to start from the very basic parts of PHP and move on upward from there. Right, so jumping right in, uh, let's create our first PHP script. I've got a nice little folder here on my testing server called TutSite, and I'm going to go in there and make a new file. I'm going to call it index.php. So, we've got our script here, nothing completely blank. Uh, it is a PHP file, so it will recognize PHP script. Um, however, in order to show that I am using uh, PHP code, I need to have a. Um, I need to. I need to open it. Basically, I need to basically create a pathway to PHP. So let's create our PHP tags showing the pro uh, the language that we are using it, and then the server will know I need to use PHP here. So PHP, it is a linear, a very linear uh, language. Basically it runs uh, in tasks, it, it runs in, in lines basically uh, from line one and on down. It basically executes line by line the code. Uh, it doesn't uh, do any JavaScript jumping around or at the same time. or It, it goes directly in order. So if I uh, first do echo one, it's going to output one before I it outputs echo two. It's going to do it in order. So that's the first thing you need to know about PHP. It's a very handy thing. I tend to prefer it this way. It is a very object-oriented programming uh, uh, friendly language, so we will be learning object-oriented programming. If you don't know what that is, uh, check it out on Wikipedia. It's basically um, a way to format and categorize your coding. It's, it's very simple and uh, hard for some people to grasp, but generally uh, most people find it and very useful. Um, but there are a lot of built-in functions to PHP that will uh, make it easy. However, you ha will have to, from time to time, create your own functions. Um, there's a lot of very useful constructs. For instance, echo, that uh, outputs something. So uh, if I want to output some text, I can just say this is text. And this will output the text uh, to the web browser, and everyone can see it. Everyone can see this is text. For instance, um, let me start up my my uh, testing server so I can actually test this stuff out and show you guys. Um, if I go into oh, my local host and I go to my tut site, which is right here, I can see the index.php has already outputted this is text. So obviously it's already working, um, so that's good. That's how you output text. You can also do it with print. However, um, most programmers do not use print anymore. Uh, there are several reasons. I can't really explain them in depth. Uh, you might want to go check them out yourself. But the basic reason to it is that print has, uh, or echo has less letters, uh, one less letter. Um, there are some more advanced reasons. Um, I can't put my finger on it right now. Uh, one, for one, it sounds cooler. <laughs> that's that's the main thing, and. It just has one letter character, and there are other reasons. I just I, I can't put my finger on it anymore. I just forget over time. Uh, generally, just keep in mind, echo is much better than print. And we can create variables in PHP. I mean, no language would be good without variables. So let's create our first variable. Oh, my bad. Uh, a variable is denoted by a uh, money sign. So yeah, PHP, the language of money. Um, for instance, if we wanted to create a number, let's just say 120, uh, there you go. You've got a variable that is 120. Unlike uh, C-sharp, you do not have to 
declare a variable type. PHP is smart enough to uh, realize what variable type you're trying to set. If you want to set a, uh, uh, what's it called, a, a string, you just um, put it between uh, quotations and boom, you've got a string. So there you go. And you can also create numbers, obviously. Oh, whoops. And decimals, negatives, anything really. And uh, that's variables. I mean, simple as that. Just money sign and then uh, variable name and then just uh, whatever you want the variable to be. And we can output these variables in Echo. It's as simple as this. Like that. It just outputs the name. And if we go in here and we refresh this, it boom, it's outputted Chris, which is our variable. Um, we can uh, string variables together with other strings. So, for instance, um, We can uh, put name together with this using a, a dot, so that's cool. Um, we can do basic math, so for instance, number is equal to 9 plus 8. Um, we can put these in parentheses, it does allow basic algebra, so that's, that's cool. Times 5, so 9 plus 8 is 17, times 5 is about 80, 80, 85. Um, because 5 times 7 is 35, 5 times 10 is 50, you know, 85. And I like to space, just a, a word of caution here, um, there are several ways you can code PHP in general. Uh, you can code it, for instance, if we're creating a variable, var is equal to 3. You can do it like that, but generally I like to space my PHP out, so I do this. Um, it may create more. It may take up more space, but generally, I find it more easier to read whenever you space things out. You can you can tell in my coding that I'm spacing it out pretty much everywhere I go. <laughs> um, so that's uh, creating variables, outputting. Um, once again, unlike uh, unlike C sharp, you can just output a number. Well, you can in C sharp too. It's just you know. Uh, with general message boxes, you have to put it together with with text. Um, you can string numbers together with other with strings, so that's you know. That's fine. And you can put that together with uh, a string variable, so for instance, name. So yeah, uh, PHP is a very versatile language. It basically is, is so basic at, at its core that it allows you to do so much. It allows you to do things from scratch. It allows you to em be empowered uh, through PHP. And that's why I find it such an attractive language. It also handles data, which we will, we will be getting to in further tutorials uh, in the future um, using MySQL. It does have a lot of uh, OOP practices and abilities, such as functions, classes, methods, uh, all that jazz. Um, it does uh, allow for a lot of built-in functions. For instance, just a basic function um, would be, for instance, if I, wa if I wanted to uh, capitalize the n this right here, this, this name Chris, then I could say, uh, if it was uncapitalized, I could say u uc first. And if I wanted to take that and output it, so I could show you that it was capitalizing it, I could do echo name. And as you can see, if I refresh this, we get a capital Chris. So, boom. Whoops. Um, there's also LC first. Uh, it's Of course, it's, you know, it's not capitalized to begin with, so that doesn't really show. It does have an extensive error system, so it does actually show you when you've made errors in your programming. For, for instance, if I just name this a random function and it doesn't exist, we can refresh this and boom, fatal error called the undefined function. Um, 
over the t over time you will grow to to realize what these errors mean and you will learn uh what these errors are telling you um some of them can get pretty irritating but in general they are very uh, effective errors and they they will tell you where the problem lies and they will get you to the problem fast and that can't be said about all programming languages uh php is fairly unique in that regard so uh, ge in general You've you've made the right choice by going with PHP. I I, I prefer it over any other web language. Um, what else? What else? What else can I get to? Um, I guess that's about all I can I can uh, offer in this first basic tutorial. That is variables, output. Uh, oh, one more thing with output. Um, in PHP, you can output HTML. Um, for instance, if I wanted to do a boldened uh, Chris, I can. I can use basic HTML within my output. And if I refresh it, you'll notice that Chris is now in bold. And just to give you an idea of the, the change, so you know it's bold, let's do another Chris. And put it right side by side. And it's kind of hard to tell in the video, but one is actually bold and the other one is not. Um, so that that can be that can be the same for any uh, HTML. Um, some of you may not be HTML aficionados, but let me just kind of write a small HTML script so you can kind of get an idea. For instance, like style font size is uh, make it 30. And let's refresh it, and as you can see, Chris is much bigger. Um, so yes, HTML can be embedded within PHP. We will learn, however, later on that it is not a good practice to embed HTML within PHP unless it is completely necessary. Generally, what you want to do is you want to run all your PHP scripts first in advance and create your variables and get all that stuff rolling first and then uh, take HTML and put HTML by itself on a separate script and then import it in using templates. Uh, like take your data, import it in using templates. And we will learn how to do that using a uh, sev uh, using several more advanced techniques. But for now, we're just going to learn the basics. So you can output HTML if you need to. That's completely fine, completely legal. You're not going to get any, any 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 trouble immediately with that. So uh, that's that's completely fine. Um, let's see. You can go out of PHP at any time and make more HTML. For instance, uh, just you know. Once again, some more HTML code. Uh, I can't type today. <laughs> so you can just get out of PHP at any time and then type some more text. And you can uh, go back into PHP and do some more stuff. So... Um, and as you can see, boom, Chris, 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 and then it goes out of PHP, does some text, and then goes back into PHP, does more text. Um, you can separate these better by, um, well, generally you can just, you know, if, you, if you're good with HTML, you can separate things however you want. I don't even know why I said that, but, um, I'm going to take this out. And uh, yeah, I, I think you get the, you get the point. Uh, once again, I, I should have mentioned this in the beginning, but normally to create a PHP tag, you're supposed to do that uh, with with PHP in it. However, whenever in the in the past video I did, um, where we were setting up the testing server, I kind of showed you how to enable the smaller tags, which is just uh, a question mark. However, uh, some of you may not have that enabled, so. Um, you may just want to use this. Uh, that's your preference. You can do that if you want. I don't do it personally because I find this to be perfectly fine. Uh, so yeah, this is output and variables and uh, general tips on getting you rolling into PHP and just some general discussion. Uh, I'll see you in my next video. We're going to go over uh, if statements and uh, conditionals and just uh, some more stuff on PHP. After that, we'll be doing loops and the like. So. Uh, uh, once again, always have a nice day, and uh, I'm signing off. So, I guess.